Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to the Split Mod. So, another lovely, beautiful day here in scenic Terraria Skybase. Nice and beautiful blue sky, beautiful clouds, and we're ready to get back into the action of the Split Mod. Because in the last episode, we defeated the Wall of Flesh. We finished up pre-hard mode. Unfortunately, I did not achieve my goal of successfully building a little mini sky island up here for every single one of my NPCs. Because, as I believe I said in the last episode, it was uh, kind of an impossible goal for me to be able to actually do that, because I'm not really much of a builder, to be honest with you. I'm like every other person, and I just build my little boxes like I did down here, and that's just okay for my whole entire playthrough. But yes, with all that being said, not a whole lot has been done off camera. I did grab some of the things from the Wall of Flesh. I had to remember that this wasn't Fargo's, and I didn't need one of every single item in the entirety of the underworld from every mob and boss. But I did go back and get all of that stuff. I switched up my setup here a little bit. I am melee now because of just the need for survivability. I was worried about just getting my butt kicked by everything that moved because of the just general weakness of the summoner. So I switched that up, grabbed myself a blaze rang. I did get myself the flame rang that is required to make it. Got my uh, enchanted boomerang, which I never picked up. There is an item that I swear to God I never saw before, which is this twister right here. I don't know if this is new or I'm just blind, but it is used to make this bird my dread item much later on down the road. And I swear I do not remember ever seeing it. It's just a thing that's here that rains ice shards. And it actually looks really good because uh, it just kind of goes. It's kind of like a Daedalus Stormbow, but with a boomerang, which is really cool. Um, unfortunately, the blaze rang does not rain purple fireballs which would be awesome if it did, but it does not. But aside from that, there really isn't a whole lot that has changed off camera. We're just ready to jump down there, back to the surface, and head down to some crimsons, break some altars, and see what ore we got. I'm very excited. Very, very hopped up, you might say. Hyped up to get murdered. But that's probably what the majority of this video is actually gonna be all about. It's not probably gonna be much in the way of boss fighting. Just kinda going around and exploring the world and seeing what new things I can find now. I'm sure there's lots and lots waiting for me in hard mode. Also, I am kind of concerned that my stranded ship biome over there is just gonna get annihilated by this crimson here, because it's literally right around the corner. I actually might go down there and check it out to see if anything changed in uh, hard mode. Is there anything new down here? Just out of curiosity, any new mobs? I'm curious. There we go. Oh, that's kind of cool. Shoots out little fiery bolts in every direction. No, oh, nothing new down here, though, so that's... uh. Pretty much what I expected. Oh god, wait a minute, what is that? Never mind. I take that back, there is something new down there. Ah, god! They are remarkably quick. And they're coming from everywhere. Where do I go? They're also dropping me things, they teleport. Where is he? Ah, there he is! Okay. This is, this is kind of dangerous. Thrillers. I don't know if that's a Michael Jackson reference, but I'd like to believe that it is. God, I don't even know where they're coming from. I know that there's death around every corner now though, so that's delightful. Also, I can't heal yet. That's great. They die very quickly, but they hit very hard and they surprise me. They're sneaky. Sneaky fellows. Ah, God, okay, I get it, Icy Merman. You got frost bolts. it's cute. What do these Glacial Zircons do? Okay, I can make myself a, an armor set, combining it with the Shadow set. Or I guess in my case, it'd be the Crimtain set, or whatever it was called. How many do I need? Five? For each one? No, 12, five, okay, so 22 of them. It's gonna be a bit of a farm. I'll make some weapons out of it, though. Can't make this one yet. Uh, I could make that one, but I need to do some farming. And I can't make that yet. So I can make the armor set, it looks like. The only thing I can make, which I might go for. Anything to give me a little bit of an edge at the beginning here, because as you can see, I'm getting hit quite hard. I'm gonna save myself a little bit of a respawn here, just in case I do die. Because I feel like that's probably pretty likely. And there we go. Got sniped by the Icy Merman. Slain by Ice Water Spit. You know, I have gone through my entire life playing Terraria, never realizing that they weren't just shooting frost bolts at me, they're actually spitting frozen balls at me. Balls of saliva. It's a little fun fact for you, for those of you that might not know. When you're running around through the ice biome, and you're getting hit by the little icy balls from the Ice Merman, they're not shooting frost bolts at you. They're spitting at you. Oh, I picked up some new alloy from that guy. Blue alloy. Can make a thallium slab if I get five of each of these. 
Ceremonial knife. I should be able to make that eventually. I'm just gonna pay attention to what I can make and not even realize that I'm gonna die a million times. All right, so I'm back from my little expedition down there, and I will say that exploring the stranded ship down there as well as the ice biome yielded me quite a good handful of things. I got myself an ice bow, got the flower of frost I can use to make this snow halation at some point as soon as I figure out what chthonic pearls are. Got a trifold map, and I got a whole bunch of glacial zircons, which I should be able to use now to make everything that I need. At least that new armor set anyway. There we go. Glacial zircon helmet, breastplate, and leggings. Anything else in particular I can make? I can make a ceremonial knife now that I want, since I got a whole bunch of those blue alloys. Also, it looks like I can upgrade the clobby, or whatever it's called. Oh well. Pretty sure I can make them both, so I might as well make them both. I'll make that. There we go. Maybe I can't make them both. Maybe I needed four. Oh well, I'm sure it wasn't that interesting. What's this do? That just swings really fast. Let's test it out on a harpy. There we go. Oh, what is that thing? Oh, that's different. Oh, I get it now. Okay. That is a Risk of Rain reference, isn't it? Because those little things there definitely look a lot like them. The same projectiles from the item of the same name. And they act the exact same way. That is really cool. I like that. Okay. Let's put you in there. Never to be used again. Wow, you're really interesting. Let me stuff you into my inventory and never see the light of day again. Anyway. Let's throw on this new set. Okay, so it's definitely a melee set. Lots of melee damage increased here. Movement speed, critical strike chance, and the set bonus is grants Zircon Blade that will attack nearby monsters upon melee hits. Oh no, it's the speed of heavy weapons. Okay, never mind. That is just an effect of the chest plate. Attack nearby monsters upon melee hits, huh? Well, there is one such monster here. Oh, that is really cool. So it just kind of shoots out every once in a while. Well, that's neat. Well, anyway, it doesn't really matter what it does, to be honest with you. It just gives me a lot more damage and a lot more defense, which will make surviving down there a lot easier now. Suppose I will have to actually fight the Wall of Flesh a few more times. Because I thought I got pretty much everything, but I guess I didn't. I need more of those dark elements of darkness or whatever they're called. These things, elements of dark. Need a lot more of them. Oh, and the Blood Moon's over. I honestly didn't even realize that there was one going on. Wasn't even paying attention to the soundtrack or anything. I'm going to run over to the other Crimson now. See how many altars I can break over there. Maybe test out this new armor set a little bit, see how good it is. And then I'll head down to the caverns. And I guess we'll just go searching for some new stuff down there. See if we can find any new enemies or something like that. And I definitely gotta get myself a pair of wings, so I think I might be dragging over the old witch doctor over to the jungle. Oh, and great, it looks like the Hallow decided that uh, I didn't need a Crimson over here anymore. Of course it did. Well, is there anything new waiting for me in the Hallow? Wow, it looks like it really did not know what to do with itself here. That is just great. There we go. Take the wraiths down lightning fast. And stand on the left side, I can get some souls of light. I stand on the right side, and I get souls of night. Perfect farming spot. You, Icor Slicker, or Stecker. Icor Slicker. There we go. Give me your sweet Icor. Not a whole lot of altars over here. I suppose I gotta go digging through the walls to get them. That is one of the biggest downsides about the Crimson, in my opinion, is that it seems like there's a lot less demon altars actually just inside the main area than the Corruption. The other Crimson is all the way over there, and it never actually went down it yet. Okay, well, lovely. Well, at least it gave me a Hallow this time. I can't really complain about that. There have been plenty of times throughout the course of me playing this game that my Hallow has been about one block wide. Ah, God, wait a minute, what? Colossus. What are you doing up here on the surface? You shouldn't be here right now. Ouch. Wow, you definitely hit a lot harder than you used to. Tell me these guys can just spawn naturally on the surface now. That's just what I need. God, something that hits for almost half my health in one hit. Peachy. Oh, you know what I never did, now that I think about it? I never actually went around and checked out the NPCs. See if they had anything new to sell now that I am in hard mode. Here we go, magical hat. It's a vanity set. Skirt, jacket, hat. Everything's about the exact same there. Star hat, already saw that. I don't suppose the Dryad sells anything new. Nope, same old, same old. What about you, Genoshi? Anything new? Oh, you got some galactic hollow chips. Pierces through enemies. So there are two different kinds of hollow chips now. I can get some that do a little bit less damage but penetrate. Anything else? We got the King's Bounty. Creates a damaging aura on contact. Looks like a yo-yo. And Tough Glove enhances your badminton capabilities, which I can use to make a badminton bag once I find myself a ball pouch. Well, that'll definitely be a lovely adventure, the quest for The Ball Pouch. It's my new show on Netflix. 
Pixelated fireball on the quest for the ball pouch. Oh my god, I'm so immature. Ramos, anything from you? We got a Dead Sea Scroll. Three random buffs for one minute. Can I use it now? No. Oh, I still have a blocking cipher on from the Vampified Scroll. Anyway, where were we? Oh my god, I think I broke it. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I done did busted it. Um, so I don't know if this is a result of the armor set, but the uh, the way that these old clip-off clippers or whatever they're called work, you just kind of you do your one-two slash, and then if you attack again quick enough, it shoots out a little extra thing there. And I still died anyway. But I have a funny feeling that that was not working the way it was supposed to. I don't know what's going on there. It's just kind of rapid fire swinging. That's kind of funny. I think I know I can actually show you properly. But yeah, this thing increases the speed of the heavy weapons. And if you just kind of keep clicking your mouse, just time just right, it just kind of keeps going just like this. Third swing, endlessly. I don't know if that's a bug or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and assume that it might be. Anyway, I think I broke as many demon altars as I possibly could, so I'm gonna head down into the caverns and see what I can see down there. It's gonna be lots of fun, I'm sure. Oh, what is that over there? Is that one of those pearls that I was told to grab? Oh, I think I might actually be able to break into this place now. I think I do remember being told that. I'm actually able to hop inside this area here now. All I needed was a hard mode pick. Yes, I can grab myself the basal tight, the underworld domain, and there is a lot of stuff here just kind of floating around. I have a feeling this is gonna be quite dangerous. Oh my God, look at them all. There's so many mobs over here right now and they all look very, very dangerous. I do not know what to do with myself right now. And of course I got a Medusa right there just chilling. Okay, well, I mean, ah, God. His death was more painful than his life. It even works underwater. Who saw that coming? You know what, if I really wanted to just be awful, I could just vein mine this right now. That'd be kind of funny, wouldn't it? If it irritates me enough, I might just... Okay, we're actually inside this place. Zoom in a little bit here, take a look and see what we can see here. I can see myself getting murdered by Monster Cage. It contained a black recluse. Of course it did. Oh, this is gonna be a fun adventure. Oh God, is that the last piece of that I need? The pink bit of the sky? Pretty sure that's the last piece of that that I needed. Now I should be able to make something. There's some wormwood. Throw in the lava to attract overloaders, the underworld beasts. I think that's a mini boss. But yeah, isn't there like a light pet or something I could make? I'm pretty sure there was. Oh, there we go. I can finally make this thing now. Oh, there it is. It's, uh, it's kind of got a face on it. And it is, in fact, not a light pet. It's just a regular old pet. It does follow my, uh, my cursor, though. Make it look around at things. Changes its appearance depending on the moon phase. Okay. So this is like a way to kind of sort of track what moon phase I'm dealing with right now. I like that. Has multiple uses. It's very handy. Back down to the murder. Oh god, what is that thing? Sentinel. Oh, it's horribly painful. Every single one of these mobs in hard mode is just a special kind of miserable. Oh my. Well, now that looks like death waiting to happen. How about this? Just put my turret in there, send him to work. Maybe. Okay, let's try this again. Ow, god. Hmm. That was really good. So, you know, don't break the pots, don't touch the cages, don't stand on the basil tight. Got it. I got it. Oh god, an idler. It's got quite a durable shield on him over there. What does it do when it dies? Does this one explode too? No. Okay, we're just gonna go in again this time. Let's see what happens. Let's not break any of the pots. Don't even touch them, don't even look at them. Don't even let them know that you're looking at them. Grab as many of these pearls as I can as I go. There's a chest over here, but I need a key to get into it. Don't suppose these little fellas down here drop them. Wait a minute, that one's gold. Am I supposed to try to catch these things? Hold on a second. I'm gonna try to catch one if I can. Okay, there's one there. Can I grab it? Nope. Okay, it won't let me. Ow. Ow. God, I don't even know what hit me. Greek fire. Something was really, really on fire over here. You know, I get the vibe that I'm really not supposed to be over there yet, but I just, I'm dense enough that I'm gonna keep slamming my head against it until I finally succeed. Listen, underworld domain, I get it, you're big and bad, but you haven't seen me play Fargo's. Okay, we're just gonna press onward down here. I will get what I need to get out of this. I don't even know what this basal type does. An epic volcanic rock, what? Why does that, the fairy has a pistol. Excuse me, hold on. The fairy has a pistol? That's great, of course it. Great, there's another one down there. They have pistols, fairies with pistols, why not? What are they holding them with? Who knows? 
Oh man, this place is all kinds of weird. I suppose I might as well take a look and see what this basil tight stuff does. Makes a lot of statues. We know it makes that wormwood. Master statue. Basil tight structure. Tectonic chest. Bricks. Can I make uh, bricks that shoot out volcanic eruptions? God, you just gotta be really extra careful where you step down here. Looks like a lot of those mobs are kind of spawning outside, but I think I have to dig my way through some of these places here. I mean, I am doing a fair bit of damage to these guys. I mean, they're doing about as much damage to me as I am to them, but, you know, I'm making my way through them. I'm not completely and totally helpless down here. Okay, so this is gonna be a, a challenge, you know, and I kind of knew that that was gonna happen. Now, there's a fancy chest down here. Big purple one. Ah, God. There is nowhere to even stand still safely down here. There's another monster cage. Definitely don't touch those. We know that's a bad idea. More unfairies, more mobs down here that want to eat my face. Great. Now, which one of these are the ones that explodes? Is it you? No, not that one. Ow, God. Well, you are very accurate with your bow and arrow, aren't you? Good for you. Oh, of course there had to be a Medusa down there. As if these guys needed any more help murdering me. It's alright, I was smart this time. Saved myself with a mirror. Also, this place is definitely a lot more challenging to get through than it looks like it should be. Because it's not even like that the mobs are especially challenging or hard to avoid, but like, man. It's a lot bigger on the inside than it looks like. Oh god, okay. This looks like a fancy looking chamber over here. What is that thing spinning? Ah, dodge everything. I tried. I really did try. Have I reached the end? What is this thing? Lord's Cog. Piece of arcane machinery can be found in the underworld domain. Okay, it's a material for something. I can make a blast forge. Or an ancient blast forge, eventually. Okay, so 25% chance not to consume smelting ingredients and use to smelt black alloys. Okay, well that could be incredibly handy. Uh, all I need to get myself is some adamantite as I just slowly wait to respawn. Whatever, doesn't matter. I already got what I feel like I need to get from down there. I mean, I think, I think I've explored a good bit of it. If there's more, then I'll go back and look for it later, but whatever. Right now, I think I've had about enough of getting murdered by everything that breathes down there. Okay, we'll deposit that in there for the time being, and I suppose... And crap myself a few more orcalcum bars. Can I make myself the pick yet? Not yet. Oh, that's a shame. Are they used for anything in particular? I can make the black alloys out of a combination of cobalt, mithril, and adamantite. Or their alternates, whatever that would happen to be. I suppose I can make some of this wormwood. Attract an overloader. See what those things are all about. That might be a very exciting way to end off the episode, huh? And I'm betting that uh, overloaders may just very well be that excitement that we're looking for here. Yeah. Okay, so, Wormwood. Throw in the lava to attract overloaders. Uh, alright. So, just throw it in any lava. Am I gonna need a lot of space to move around? I can go over here and do it. That might be a wiser idea. Honestly, I'm really not expecting to actually be able to take any of these things down, but we're gonna give it our best try anyway. Okay, well, let's just throw it right into the lava. There's obsidian down there. That won't work. Okay, now we'll throw it into the lava. Okay, where are they coming from? Here it comes. Ah, uh, oh god, okay, so there's a few of them. I didn't realize that there were gonna be two. Um, I was not expecting that, in the slightest. I also would prefer it if there weren't demons and other things getting in my way. I wasn't expecting this to happen this way. Oh wait, am I only able to attack their face? Whatever, go Walter, we'll uh, take him down with one of these things. Can I kill at least one of them? I didn't realize that there were gonna be two whenever I spawned it. Is that supposed to happen? I was kind of hoping there'd just be one. That was the, the ideal way that I wanted to go about doing it. Ah, God, no, I think I might be in trouble. This is definitely a scenario that one would find themselves in if they were happened to being in trouble. Oh, well. Well, that's a shame. Are they just gonna hang out down here or are they gonna despawn? Uh, oh no, they're just gonna hang out down there, I think. Oh God, okay, tectonic plates? Did they just shed them off, or did one of them die? Wait, it just died? Do I even have to kill the thing? Does it matter? I don't even know what's happening right now. I would like to kill one just to see what it does exactly. I like the way that those tectonic plates are bouncing in the lava as well. I just noticed that. That's kind of funny. This is uh, sort of anticlimactic. I actually kind of expected these things to be a lot more challenging. Unless there's like a surprise second phase or something. I suppose this is just a mini boss. There we go. Hey, I got myself a tectonic key, which I'm pretty sure is what I needed to open those chests so I could go back there and do that. I just gotta grab these tectonic plates without being brutally melted completely and totally into goo in the lava. 
Can I do it? Ah, they bounce. Maybe that's why they bounce, because it can help me out a little bit. Uh, let's take a diligence potion. We'll go around and do it like this. Hopefully, I don't accidentally drown myself in lava. I do still wonder, though, if spawning two was intentional. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure if that's supposed to be that way. Maybe it is. I don't know. Might be, might not be. So I can definitely make that tectonic set right there, but it doesn't look like it's all that much different than what I have on right now. Can't make the overflow or the albedo rod right now. I can make a tectonic toilet because why not? Why wouldn't there be a toilet? That's a meme. Okay, let's grab the tectonic set. Breastplate and leggings. What was that on there? Cracked? Minus eight defense, it's cracked. Well, boy, doesn't that just make it worthless? Now it's got less defense than this does. It's got dramatically less defense. What is the set bonus? Increases your damage and crit chance depending on your move speed. Basalt eruptions won't follow you anymore. Uh, okay, well, that's kind of really disappointing that I got cracked with it. There's got to be some way to undo these or to change them. I'm assuming there would be. I don't really like this one all that much now because of that. That kind of kind of ruins it for me. Decent increase to movement speed, I guess, and crit and just regular damage, but I think the Glacial Zircon is the way we're going to be going here. All right, well, at the very least, we can go down there and unlock one of those chests down there, see what is held in the tectonic chests. It could be epic loot. It could be an amazing weapon. It could be amazing gear. It could be an awesome accessory. It could be a cloud in a bottle. All right, if I remember correctly, yes, there is one right inside the door here. Let's open her up. We got the Searing Ember. It's a magic weapon. It takes 30 mana, though. My god. Must be a really hefty spell. Not bad. Blazing Bangle. Okay, I'm just going to take all these, and I'm going to run away before I get eaten alive. Okay. So Searing Ember takes a lot of mana. Not exactly sure what that is. Just kind of looks like a really, really big fireball. Interesting. We got the Blazing Bangle. Increases damage done to burning enemies. That actually might not be a bad idea to throw that on there since I've got an imp. I could just summon him out and he'll light things on fire for me. Black arrow creates a copy of an arrow when it hits an enemy. Nice. And there's the ore calcumens and meteorite bars. Okay, so there's definitely a lot of stuff in there worth grabbing for sure. Definitely want to get a hold of that stuff at some point because it all looks really helpful. Maybe with those ore calcum bars I can finally get myself the pick. Yes, I can. Don't mind if I do. All right, anything else that I can make with what I do have right now? Doesn't look like it. I'm definitely going to make some more wormwood go back down there again. Farm some more of those guys. All right, well, I'm not exactly 100% sure if I really accomplished all that much in today's episode. Uh, like I said, I didn't think there was going to be any boss fights or anything, really. Just a little bit of exploration. We came across some new mobs, some new things, lots of new items. Explored a little bit of that new biome down there. I feel like we haven't seen the last of it yet, though, because there was definitely some things from the trailer that I definitely didn't notice down there yet. So we'll be going back there for sure. And of course, we have some more farming to do. I will save that for the next episode, then we'll probably maybe potentially face off against Paraffin. Maybe the pirates will show up at some point, I don't know. Just have to see what happens. But alas, I do believe I have been running this episode on for long enough. So I think I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you have a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank <music> you.